isn't that that anger that you talk about that's okay? Isn't that isn't that kind of a rare thing that's maybe only reserved? No, there's there's hardly anybody in the world that understands it. You see, the anger, the the healthy anger, the Christ-like anger, the throwing the money changes out of the temple anger, the strength that comes to overcome evil with good, the resi resisting of the evil and overcoming with the good is, that kind of anger comes first from withholding judgment. If someone steps on your toe, you know, and maybe they mean it, maybe they don't, but the, the, you get a little flash in your brain, a little flash of resentment. You, you know the little resentment, it isn't anger, you know, it isn't something that is, requires a great display of courage like someone kidnapping somebody, you know, you're one of your family and you're rushing out of the house and using all your strength. It is a little zzz in your brain. Who knows what I'm talking, a little resentment, a little electrical current, and then you can't forget. It keeps going round and round and round and round, and, and every time you think of it, you resent it. Every, and every time you resent it, 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 you milk it of more judgment. And every time you see it, the more judgment, it stays in your mind and it preys on your mind. And it, it, you start to do start weird things that start to happen to you. You start to be depressed. You start to feel anxiety. You start to be afraid to go to work. You, start, you can't face that person. And the person. You see that person coming down the street. You walk on the other side. Or he catches you and crosses over, and then you can't do enough bowing and scraping. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. And then you say, why did I do that? And you resent it again. You resent him yourself. <laughs> See? When you judge others, you judge yourself. And it's in the scripture, judge not, or else you'll be, be judged. If you give up judgment of others, the judgment on yourself will disappear. Now, when you start to give up resentment, when the first thing you learn to do when you get up in the morning is you meditate, you become objective, and you learn to get into that space. And with that space, it carries with it a power to watch for the opportunity to be overlooked, like I say in my materials, in my cassettes. Watch for the opportunity, and for the, for the um, novice, that's more important in the very beginning, to start watching, because most of our lives has been just the opposite of that. We look for the opportunity to be upset, because we have become addicted. The judgment or the pride, it owes its life to something evil. It has to plug into something evil. It needs the temptation to exist. See, evil, if we respond to temptation, what have I said before? Don't we become a little bit like we have an imprint? The temptation has made it, us a little bit like itself. It's, we've become the brainchild. Well, then a strange thing happened. The only life you have is to go on judging. Because when you judge, you have to have something evil to judge. See, and, and your whole life is based around something negative. But you have a negative existence, a reverse existence. You have a reverse polarity. Instead of living by faith and forgiveness, see, and your life revolves around responding to what's good in your heart, which says, don't respond. You know, revenge is mine, saith the Lord, I shall pay back. <laughs> see, instead of listening to that and trusting it, you yourself have become God and you try to pay back. And you'll formulate all different formulas in your mind and you become judge and jury and execute you and you're hatching out these little plots. But you're always looking for something to be upset about because you're addicted because the life that you have, which originally originated through resenting someone, your father or your mother usually were the culprits. That's where the evil came through into your life. Now that it's sitting inside you, and having separated you from God to be your own God, the only way you can be God is to go on judging, like God does.